Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Sa video lesson na ito ay itutuloy natin ang inyong topic sa weeks 4 and 5, Solve Equations Transformable to Quadratic Equations. Sa nakaraang video ay itinuro ko kung paano kumuha ng LCD. Kung hindi nyo pa napanood yun, just click here or hanapin nyo na lang sa link sa description sa baba. Dito sa learning test number 3, solve the following equations transformable to quadratic equations. Meron tayong given 3 over x plus x over 4 equals 19 over 8. Ang ibig sabihin kasi nitong equation na to equal daw siya dito. Okay, so ang kukuhanan lang natin ng LCD yung nandito lang sa left side. So, simple lang naman, x times 4 equals 4x. Meron akong dalawang method na ituturo sa inyo. Una ay ito, tapos yung pangalawa ay yung imumultiply mo yung LCD sa each term. Na, pero mas mahaba yun. Pero, tingnan nyo na lang kung saan ang mas kabisado ninyo, yun ang gamitin ninyo. So, meron na tayong LCD, pwede na nating i-add itong nasa left muna. Kagaya lang din ng pag-add ng fraction, pero may variable na kasi. Unahin natin to, 4x divided by x equals 4. And then yung 4, diba, imumultiply natin sa kanyang numerator. Ito yung LCD niya. 4x divided by x equals 4. And then yung 4, imumultiply natin sa numerator na 3. 4 times 3 equals positive 12. Dito naman, 4x divided by 4 is equal to x. And then, x times x equals positive x squared is equal to 19 over 8. Kung mapapansin ninyo, pwede natin gamitin yung concept ng ratio and proportion. So, cross-multiply natin ito at saka ito. So, magiging 8 times 12 plus x squared equals 19 times 4x. Then, simplify. 8 times 12 equals 96 plus 8 times x squared equals positive 8x squared is equal to 19 times 4x equals 76x. Then, ang next na gagawin, i-transform na natin siya sa quadratic equation. So, mauna yung 8x squared. And then, transpose natin yung positive 76 magiging negative 76. Then, plus 96 is equal to 0. So, ito na yung quadratic equation natin. Pero, pwede pa natin niyang isimplify. Pwede natin i-divide by 4. So, 8x squared divided by 4, so, i-divide natin sa 4 lahat yan, magiging 2x squared, negative 76x divided by 4 equals negative 19x. Then, 96 divided by 4 is equal to positive 24. Ito na yung final answer, pero kung gusto ninyong i-check kung ano yung roots niya para ma-solve kung tama ba yung sagot, kunin natin yung roots niya. Pwede nyong gamitin yung completing the square, pwede rin quadratic formula, pero para sa akin, pinakamabalis ka sa akin is factoring. Mag-isip kayo ng factor ni 2x squared, that is 2x lang naman, tsaka x. Then, positive ito at negative ito, ibig sabihin negative at negative yung sign natin. So, mag-trial and error tayo. Kung ilalagay ko dito yung 3 at dito naman ay 8, ano ang magiging middle term natin? Negative 3x plus negative 16x equals negative 19x. So, ito yung factors natin. Ngayon, equate natin sa 0 para makuha natin yung roots. Equal 0. Transpose natin yung negative 3 magiging positive 3. I-divide natin sa 2 para makancel yung 2. Ang matitira is 3 over 2. Ito yung first root natin. Then, x minus 8 naman equals 0. Then, x equals positive 8. Ito yung second root. Ngayon, kung gusto nating i-check, pwede nating i-substitute yung mga values. Unahin natin yung 3 over 2. Para mas mabilis, gumamit na tayo ng pinagbabawal na technique. 
Okay, so uh, yung una is positive 3 halves. So, palitan natin ng 3 halves yung mga x. So, 3 over 3 halves plus yung x natin is 3 halves. So, 3 over 2 over 4. So, dapat ang makuha natin is positive 19 over 8. So, mag-equal tayo. Then, ang nakuhang sagot is 19 over 8. So, tama yung 3 halves. Ngayon, yung positive 8 naman. So, 3 over 8 plus 8 over 4 equals 19 over 8 din. Alright? Next, number 2. 2 over x minus x plus 1 over 3 equals negative 8 over 5. So, medyo mas mahaba yung method na gagamitin dito. Ang first na gagawin natin dito, kunin din natin yung LCD niya. Tapos, yung LCD, imumultiply natin each term sa equation natin. Alright? Madali lang kunin yung LCD nito. Kunin lang natin yung product ng x at 3 and that is 3x. Imultiply natin yung 3x each term. So, that is 3x times 2 over x minus 3x times x plus 1 over 3 equals 3x times negative 8 over 5. And then, multiply each term. Multiply each term. 3x times 2 equals 6x over x. Minus, okay, so minus muna yan. 3x times x equals 3x squared. 3x times 1 equals positive 3x over 3. Equals 3x times negative 8 equals negative 24x over 3. Then, simplify 6x over x equals 6 minus, ano naman ang makakancel dito? 3x squared divided by 3 equals x squared. And then, 3x divided by 3 equals positive x na lang siya. So, nandun sa labas pa rin yung minus sign ha. Equals negative 24x over 5. I-simplify muna natin to kasi may minus sign sa labas. So, that is 6. Negative times x squared equals negative x squared. Negative times positive x equals negative x equals negative 24x over 5. Then, ang next na gagawin natin, ang goal natin is, tanggalin natin si 5 sa denominator ni 24x. So, i-multiply natin each term by 5 para matanggal si 5. Alright? So, 5 times 6 equals 30. Then, 5 times negative x squared equals negative 5x squared. 5 times negative x equals negative 5x. And then, matatanggal ito. Ang matitira na lang is negative 24x. And then, transpose natin yung negative 24x dito sa kabila. Mag-change ng sign. Magiging positive 24x. So, inarrange ko na siya according to its degree. And then, positive ito. Combine like terms, negative 5x plus 24x equals positive 19x. Ngayon, para mas madaling ma-factor, pwede nating i-multiply sa negative 1 para maging positive yung leading term. So, negative 5x squared times negative 1 equals positive x squared. And then, ito naman magiging negative. And then, ito magiging negative. So, pwede na hanggang dito na yung sagot ninyo kasi ito na yung quadratic equation niya. Pero, kung gusto niyo yung isolve kung ano yung roots niya, pwede naman. So, kunin natin yung factors nito. That is, 5x plus 6 times x minus 5. Kasi, 6x plus negative 25x equals negative 19x. And then, ne positive 6 times negative 5 equals negative 30. So, I assume na alam nyo na ang mag-factor kasi naituro na nung grade 8 kayo. Equate natin sa 0 para makuha yung roots. Unahin natin to. That is 5x plus 6 equals 0. Transpose natin yung positive 6 magiging negative 6. And then para makuha yung roots, i-divide natin both sides by 5. O, or kahit i-multiply na natin ng 1 over 5. Okay. So, ang magiging sagot is negative 6 over 5. And then, yung x minus 5 naman, that is x minus 5 equal to 0. Transpose natin yung negative 5 magiging 
positive 5. So, ang roots ng quadratic equation na to ay negative 6 over 5 or positive 5. Ngayon, para ma-check natin kung tama yung nakuha nating sagot, isubstitute natin yung value ng x dito sa original na equation. Kunahin natin yung negative 6 over 5. So, that is 2 over negative 6 over 5 minus yung x natin is negative 6 over 5. So, medyo mahaba to. Plus 1 all over 3. So, dapat ang makuha natin is negative 8 over 5. So, tama naman siya. Next, yung 5 naman. That is 2 over 5. Ang x natin is 5. So, 5 plus 1, that is 6 over 3. So, negative 8 over 5 din yung nakuhang sagot. Alright? Next, dito naman sa number 3. So, bonus nyo na to. Ano naman ang LCD ng x minus 3 at positive 2? Ang LCD niya is 2 times x minus 3 or pwedeng magbaliktad x minus 3 times 2. Multiply natin to each term. So, that is 2 times x minus 3 times 2 over x minus 3 plus 2 times x minus 3 o times x over 2 equals 2 times x minus 3 times negative 1 half. Then, mag-cancel na tayo agad para madali. So, makakancel ito. Ang matitira is 2. 2 times 2 equals 4. And then, dito naman, alin naman ang makakancel? Yung 2. So, x times x equals x squared. Then, negative 3 times x equals negative 3x. And then, dito naman, makakancel din yung 2. And then, ang matitira is x minus 3 times negative 1. So, negative 1 times x equals negative x. Negative 1 times negative 3 equals positive 3. Next, isimplify na natin. Unahin natin yung x squared. And then, kopyahin yung minus 3x. Yung negative x naman magiging positive x. And then, plus 4. Yung positive 3, transpose natin magiging negative 3. Combine like terms, that is x squared negative 3x plus x equals negative 2x, 4 minus 3 equals positive 1. Then, madali lang i-factor ito. Ano ang factor ni positive 1 na kapag in ninyo, magiging negative 2? That is, x minus 1 times x minus 1 or x minus 1 squared. So, para makuha yung roots, equate to 0, x minus 1 equals 0, transpose yung negative 1 magiging positive 1. Okay? So, ang quadratic equation dito ay ito. Ito lang yung checking niya. I-check natin yung positive 1 kung true ba siya dito sa equation na to. Substitute natin. So, that is 2 over over 1 minus 3 plus 1 over 2. So, negative 1 half yung nakuang sagot. Yun lamang mga anak cheese, sana nakatulong ito sa inyo. Abangan ninyo yung susunod na video tungkol sa iba pang learning task. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral lang mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!